previous in this photo provided by Peter Zabrock, climber Ryan Sheridan who had just reached the top of El Capitan, a 7,569-foot, 2,307-meter, formation, when a rock slide let loose below him Thursday, Sept. 28, 2017, in Yosemite National Park, Calif. It was not immediately clear if there were new casualties, a day after another slab dropped from El Capitan, killing a British climber and injuring a second. Peter Zabrock via AP, file, this January 14, 2015, file photo, shows El Capitan in Yosemite National Park, Calif. Two climbers have set a new speed record for ascending the famous snows route of El Capitan, one of the world's most technical and dangerous verticals. Alex Honnold and his climbing partner Tommy Caldwell on Wednesday, May 30, 2018, raced up the nearly 90-degree, 2,900-foot precipice in 2 hours 10 minutes 15 seconds. AP Photo, Ben Margot, File, this Thursday, Sept. 28, 2017 photo provided by the National Park Service shows a rock fall off the iconic El Capitan rock formation in Yosemite National Park, Calif. A massive new rock fall hit Yosemite National Park on Thursday, cracking with a thundering roar off the iconic El Capitan rock formation and sending huge plumes of white dust surging through the valley floor below. The National Park Service via AP Sound to Gallery will resume in seconds. News media and onlookers line the road as Tommy Caldwell and Kevin Jorgensen near the summit on their way to completing the ascent of the Dawn Wall of El Capitan in Yosemite National Park, Calif. on Wednesday, Jan. 14, 2015. Kevin Jorgensen, 30, of Santa Rosa, and Tommy Caldwell, 36, of Estes Park, Colo, completed the climb, becoming the first to do so as free climbers, that is they performed their ascent without the assistance of ropes or other mechanical assistance other than being tethered to protect themselves from falls. The two men began their ascent of the half mile of sheer granite on December 27, 2014. Patrick Tehan, Bay Area News Group, with El Capitan and Bridal Veil Falls in the background, Carl Bostian, of Parker, Colorado, walks on a log on the Merced River on Thursday, May 25, 2017, at Yosemite National Park, Calif. Jim Jensheimer, Bay Area News Group, El Capitan, left, and Half Dome are seen from the Tunnel View Vista Point in Yosemite National Park, Calif, on Wednesday, January 7, 2015. Christopher Skinner, Bay Area News Group, the frigid waters of the Merced River flow along the valley floor as El Capitan catches the late morning sunshine in Yosemite National Park, Calif. On Thursday, January 8, 2015. Christopher Skinner, Bay Area News Group, in this photo provided by Peter Zabrock, climber Ryan Sheridan who had just reached the top of El Capitan, a 7,569-foot, 2,307-meter, formation, when a rock slide let loose below him Thursday, Sept. 28, 2017, in Yosemite National Park, Calif. It was not immediately clear if there were new casualties, a day after another slab dropped from El Capitan, killing a British climber and injuring a second. Peter Zabrock via AP, file, this January 14, 2015, file photo, shows El Capitan in Yosemite National Park, Calif. Two climbers have set a new speed record for ascending the famous snows route of El Capitan, one of the world's most technical and dangerous verticals. Alex Honnold and his climbing partner Tommy Caldwell on Wednesday, May 30, 2018, raced up the nearly 90-degree, 2,900-foot precipice in 2 hours 10 minutes 15 seconds. AP Photo, Ben Margot, File, Next Show Caption 1 of 7 FILE, This Jan. 14, 2015, File Photo, Shows El Capitan in Yosemite National Park, Calif. 
two climbers have set a new speed record for ascending the famous Snows Route of El Capitan, one of the world's most technical and dangerous verticals. Alex Honnold and his climbing partner Tommy Caldwell on Wednesday, May 30, 2018, raced up the nearly 90-degree, 2,900-foot precipice in 2 hours 10 minutes 15 seconds. AP Photo, Ben Margo, File, Expandu 2 climbers fell to their deaths early Saturday from Yosemite's El Capitan, authorities said. Park rangers and search and rescue teams responded to El Capitan after receiving multiple 911 calls reporting the fall around 8.15 a.m. Saturday, the men did not survive the fall. On Saturday afternoon, the park identified the pair as Jason Wells, 46, of Boulder, Colorado, and Tim Kleon, 42, of Palmdale, California. Some witnesses said there was a third climber in the party, but Yosemite did not confirm that. They were on free blast, a 10-pitch route with a difficulty rating of 5.11, on the Santa Fe wall. This is the second fatal incident in Yosemite National Park in a little over a week. On May 21, a hiker fell to his death on Half Dome. On May 4, noted climber Hans Florini broke bones in both legs during a fall on a different El Capitan route. Sponsored content retirement decoded, six key questions to ask by We're Here to Answer Your Questions No Matter How Big or Small. After all, there are no unintelligent questions, right? You might also like get an anti-theft bag worth $150 when you apply for www.bankbazaar.com New paper top 10 most sensational waterfalls in the world far and wide Montauka Estate, comprised of two houses, lists for $21, Mansion, Global, White Paper, The Consolidated Audit Trail Investor Communications, Business Process Outsourcing, Rudrich Donald Trump has reportedly insulted women with the